what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel energy healing tarot one two three it's your girl and prashim here to drop some jewels so y'all got some levels here virgo since it's still your birth month you guys are up first so this will be for virgo summer rising and venus and you cross watchers because we know y'all are here especially for the love edition this will be for the month of september so even a little bit in the beginning of october Keep in mind, guys, this is a general message. Cannot, will not resonate with everyone. Take what's for you. Leave the rest behind. Okay, we're going to do a 10-card spread today. In any event, support your home girl. Give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell button before you head out. Leave your comments below. Let me know what's going on. Follow me over to the social media websites. Get the updates. Looking for the link to the website. Booking a personal. All our information is listed below. All right. So, Virgo, 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 happy birthday, Virgo. Somebody wants to present you a gift, okay? Somebody wants to be with you or, you know, trying to offer you or promise you something or... It is about a reconciliation. Somebody is coming back. This is a past life person or it could be somebody who comes into your life and it could remind you of someone from your past, Okay. Um, it could almost feel like you be getting yourself into the same sort of cycle or whatever. Or it could be somebody from your past who is coming back around. And it's time for you guys to finally get it right in your cycle. Okay. So let's see. Ooh, okay. We'll give up one more shuffle here. A little quick some some light. So this read is going to be a little different. Different little setup. Try to get the messages straight to the point for you guys here. Been busy, so I want to try to make sure everybody get a little message, a little love message out. So, all right, Virgo, you guys are ready here. We're going to actually start with our higher love soul link oracle cards. It will close out with our love oracles, okay? So underneath the deck, you have destructive behaviors. So yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's past life. Could be an old karmic cycle. Probably still could be trying to close some of that out, especially with us, you know, really getting geared up and into that Saturn transit that is going to take place. What's the messages we got here for Virgo? Messages to start off for Virgo. All right, so you got a sudden progress and change, and you need to prepare for this change here, okay? There's a loss of love in this situation. So this could be for you. This could be for the cross watcher here. Virgo could be, like, really turning you down when you come forward to them. There is no more love in this situation. The love is gone, baby. The thrill is gone. What's under there? You want me to see it? Competition and challenges. Tired of competing, tired of going through, you know, so many hurdles and how high you want me to do. Yeah, you're tired of jumping, you know, you're tired of being there. You just don't want to deal with this connection that's coming back around. Like, you know, the thrill is gone. Love ain't there no more. What's the message you guys got here? Sometimes the strongest people in the morning are the people who cry all night, okay? Yeah, you're tired. You don't want to deal with it anymore. You will meet your soulmate when the time is right. So, yeah, this past person, you guys could still be dealing with karmic cycles. You know, this past person that, you know, you still got to cut out and get out of your life. Okay. Let's pull these 10 cards and then we'll look into it. First card out is justice. Could be dealing with a Libra here. But, yeah, karmic justice. Things are finally getting set right. The tables are being set right here. Two of swords. Three of wands. Five of pentacles. Yeah. The tower, first line out, guys. Okay, so let's talk. There's your change, your big sudden change right there, that tower. So, justice is finally being, you know, served in a situation here, I'm really feeling. Especially, you know, when it came to someone who needed to make a decision here. Definitely could be dealing with an um, air sign here. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Libra up here. We got the tower, which I see is air, I'm um, sorry, fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, also Scorpio energy, okay? Um, but, yeah, somebody finally made a decision to turn their back on the situation here and just, like, know, and know that something better is coming in. Like, 
It's like the main energy turned their back. And left somebody out in the cold. Could have left a family out in the cold. And this, you know, this is the shake up here. Yeah, because these two people, they, you know, was out here. I feel like somebody probably came up to the house. And it was like, hell no, you got thrown out. You just got thrown out. And these two folks right here in the cards, okay? So it's like, you know, they walk in. We're going to go over here. We left out. We hang in. We need something going on. Because it's like this person just turned their back out on them. Like, turned their back. Decided to just turn their back. Say, you know what, whatever. I'm over this. So now it's like they're trying to come back. Coming back in. But it's not going to go down. That's that time moment. Here they asked us go. Flying out. Flying out the house. Getting kicked out the house. Whatever, you are not welcome here, okay? Not welcome here at all. Mm -hmm. Four of Pentacles, Hangman energy, Pisces there. Eight of Wands, yep, and coming communication. Yeah, there's the Four of Wands there, that household. So, yeah, like I'm saying, somebody I've been holding on for a long time here, probably having people um, or having you feeling stuck. Or you probably got them feeling stuck. Or they probably had you sitting around feeling stuck for a long time and decided, you know, let me... Just come and holler at you, you know, I want to come and make things right, you know, I want to make things stable, whatever. I'm, I'm feeling like I kind of want to pick this. I'm tired of, you know, going through these um competitions and challenges, yeah, because I picked up, you know, five wands left over from the two, threw it up there. I seen five wands because this is, you know, they turned their back on you or whatever. And they're just like, you know, I don't want this conflict anymore. You know, I just want things to go back to being stable, things being right. You know, whatever, especially with these two fours on the outside and it's like holding in. Maybe this communication also could be boxed in. I'm picking up somebody just, you know, probably holds it on to the right time to come in and communicate. But I feel like there, I feel like there is not a right time anymore. Like whenever this person shows up, it's going to be too late. Yeah, we got the nine of cups here with the emperor and the four of swords. Yeah. There it go. That's like somebody could be doing a lot of drinking while they sitting here and is, you know, making this decision. Somebody could have been like overindulging in drinking, drugs, whatever. Just to like get themselves through this while they was holding on to their thoughts, trying to figure out how to make this situation better, how to make this right. It could have been this masculine energy here, and um Aries energy. But um Yeah, just trying to figure out how to do this right here. I feel like, you know, these people who are coming back in, they want to come and, like I said, lay things to rest, make things right. This person wants to come back in, they want to make this right here, okay? But it's just like this, the emperor, this energy, he, I feel like he's laid this to rest or you laid this to rest. Like you've set boundaries, you put, you know, yourself first, you know, control, you have control now. You realize that you don't have to keep going through these cycles anymore, Okay. Three of Cups, yeah. Somebody was up and their head was stagnant on whether or not they wanted this reconciliation, whether or not they want to want this to happen with the Six of Swords energy here. Yeah, I just feel like the energy of you just moving on, moving on away from it, like not wanting to deal with it. Or, you know, if you're embodying like this Emperor energy, you know, setting boundaries here and just moving on, laying it to rest because you know here, this is Ten of Swords here. You know that there's a lot of deception here, there's lies here, you know that there's drama, it's headaches, and you you know that going into a relationship or, you know, make, if building this connection again is just not a good look. And I feel like that's where justice is finally being served here with this situation. Yeah, nine of wands here, you definitely got your guard up. Um, you're, you have your guard up, or, you know, if you're embodying the emperor energy or whoever the masculine is, they just have their guard up. They've turned their back on the situation. They have their guard up. They don't want to reconcile. Like, they're just moving forward because they're tired of the mind games. They 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 made their mind up. They made their mind up. Yep, three of swords under here. Healing the situation. They made their mind up. Okay. So, let's see. Underneath the deck, you guys got reconciliation. What's the messages here for Virgo? Summarizing the Venus and the Cross Watcher. Closing out their September love reading. So, yeah, love is lost. People realize, or this person or you realize that it's not worth it anymore. It's, they want to say it's stable, but it's not. They're not as stable as they're saying. They're not. Can we have two more? Thank you. 
I'll take them because one fell. Let me get that, guys. Yeah, so the first one is soulmate that flew out. So I'm feeling like you guys could have felt like it was your soulmate because then the next one here was free yourself. So I, I'm honestly feeling like you could have felt like this was soulmate energy here or it's finally justice being served on what could have been a karmic soulmate for you guys in this situation here. Um, it does say you need to let go of control issues, you or this person. Set in boundaries, especially with this emperor here. You know, maybe somebody could be coming in, you know, wanting to control the situation. You're just like, no, I'm over that. Okay. And then we have religious factors. Your love life isn't being influenced by your religious spiritual upbringing. So it's doing what you know is right, what is best for yourself here in this situation. Okay. Spirit is really saying that you need to free yourself from this, this energy and just let go. Go back to what you know, okay? What is best for you, what is right for you. You know the situation is not in your highest vibration, yeah. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are wrong, worth exploring. I mean, they're here, but I mean, when the time is right, okay? You just don't need to be throwing yourself out. And I feel like a lot of you guys, you know that, so. But yeah, that's been your September reading, guys. You already know what to do with this information. Till the next time we speak again. Peace out.